Hello everyone and welcome to what might be the first episode of a series on Fallout Horse Racing Challenge. I'm going to try playing the story. It's going to be uh, what I think is a cracking experience, so I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get on with it. A great start Ooh, for the we're in Kildare. I've been in Kildare. That's where I went overseas. Also up the front. 1967, that was not a rush. Once the front shows revenge, breathing down their neck. Next, it's Dream Dimple, feeling the pressure from Tricky Dazzler. Destiny's Dream in control. We're in junkie position. Dream Dimple in second place from Red Dimple. Am I supposed to be riding this? Alright, let's go. Just run the speed out. Dream Dimple leading the field. Destiny's Dream needs Look, to get into R2 a better then. place. Come on. Two lengths away. Just run speed. Red Midnight. Wish the finishing post is coming up. Come on. Oh, here we go. Yes. I've pushed the button and he's accelerated away. Darts clear and kill there. And he's going to go on for an all the way victory. Sort of. I was second for some of that race. Yeah. We're going to get a bit of a story. Finishing on a high note. That's what the papers said of your grandfather's final victory. And it was well deserved. But I was there. I knew the reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. Your father was already comfortable in his own saddle and making a name for himself. But when your proud grandfather strolled from the stage, leaving him alone in the sun... This is good. Oh, he took off like an untamed wind. So I have a good family history then. That's always good. But why is it getting darker? Uh -oh. But then, of course. Oh uh, no. Uh... You know how hard it was on the family. But your grandfather took it the hardest. For all his achievements, in the end, he considered himself a failure. A failure? But you've just... Okay. I still believe in your family's legacy, despite everything. If you could, if you would be persuaded, please come back. I'll come back. I believe, together, we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Sounds good, pal. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan. Big up, Francis. What a bloke. All right, jockey customization. Uh, you can't see this again, but I am the seminator. Let's put that in. There we go. Uh, which jockey do I most look like? Not a girl jockey, so we can rule a few of those out. Um, I'm thinking the top left. Silks. Alright, I want to pick a real life silk. I'm not going to carry on in my family's legacy and like do like their colours. I want to pick some actual race colours that they use on the track. Which colours do I want? Is the question. Hmm. This is very interesting. There's no real standouts. You know what? You know what? Big up Shane Fleet in his stable. The trainer of High Stranger, Air Defense, used to have St. Edward's crown. I want to go with his silks. And the helmet, uh, doesn't really matter. Go with white, because that's what that his stable wear, I'm pretty sure. Red and white, so let's go on with it. Where Shane Fleet in his colors. All right, we're going to go to the stables. There's Sophie. I know her. Oh, wait, we're going to buy a horse from, a mar from the market. Right. I didn't even know what I was clicking on there. So, Bishop, Duke, or Animal Area. <laughs> uh, hmm. I might go Bishop, Duke, because it's a grey. There we go. Oh, both good horses. Alright, we got Bishop Duke. Our new mare. We got one horse. Alright, we're gonna go in a race. 
at three oaks. We're gonna go in race one, 800 meters, eight horses. All right, let's do this. And we're immediately into a race. We haven't trained our horse or anything. 1360. Right. Our horse loves 900 and it likes to settle, yep, in the middle. Obviously, it's going to be an on pace advantage as we've seen before. So, we'll see what happens. Let's go in. We have to pay $300 to go into this race and it's drawing us a gate. Gate number two. We're going to be right there on speed. I'm going to keep a few horses wide around that first corner. I haven't even looked at the track. I don't even know if there's any corners. We'll be racing down the straight. And I've got Matt Hill in my ear. Waiting for the start at Three Oaks. Stars Chorus, the one to beat. Bishop Duke trying to beat the All right, here we go. Oh, it's slow. Gates are open. Yep, and, and we've got a good start. Watch out, Seagulls. And we are up the front. All right. Oh, wait, you get a faster refill if you go into your preferred position. I'm going to probably hold back, but I'm going to keep the fence, keep a few horses working. All right, I'm going to go back to midfield to try and get some refills. Oh. Oh, there's my thing there. Okay, I've got to go there. What, what's this telling me to do? I know how to do stuff. Alright, I'm gonna catch up to the blue line. Wherever that blue line's gone now. There it is. Oh, we're gonna go a bit wide there. Don't wanna run up back sides. Don't wanna fall. There we go. Fast refill. Oh, we're in slow mode. What's going on? Refill sprint faster on the pack position line. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And we're right up next to the leader here. We might be a chance. You know, I'm just gonna attack this leader past the wind into the straight. I'll take this leader, pull out at the 150, here we go, go on, wield the whip, Bishop Duke goes up and claims the lead, storming away, and Bishop Duke, oh, I'm going to be tied on the line, hold on, yes, Bishop Duke wins at three oaks, and it's done it pretty well, that looks like it's about three lengths from the times, there we go, got some nice prize money and some items, I'm sure my father and grandfather will be very proud. Oh, it's up to level two. Let's go. We can collect our things from the goals now. Buy a horse, compete in a race. I'll collect that. I'll have some of that. Everybody has to start somewhere. Exactly. We have to train our horses. This is what I was talking about. Our training manager, Trenton. Right. So we got some grain and some XP. Let's go. Train a horse in speed, train a horse in sprint energy, and train a horse in acceleration. Okay, Trenton looks like an absolute dude, so I think we'll have a good time with him um, at the stables. So we're gonna apparently train Bishop Duke. All right, its speed's gone up by five rating points. That's a start. Can compete high class races, and all right, we'll go from speed to sprint energy. Um, that'll go up by five as well. Yep. So we're up to. 44 across speed and sprint energy and last but not least acceleration we'll train that up cost 200 dollars to do that didn't know that um i mean fake dollars um 44 across all three now and we're going to collect our earnings go on trent we got xp and some other stuff all right oh here we go we're going to collect our income so we get money like this i think Next delivery in four minutes, 44 seconds. I'll be there to collect my money. Oh, and we can sell some of this stuff. I guess that's if it gets too overloaded. Sophie's keen for us to get our own team going. So I'm thinking, we buy a breeding stall and a horse stall and we breed our own horse. Oh, they, they're expensive. All right, we've got a breeding stall. gonna breed our horse all right Bishop Duke's the mum because that's the only man we have all right we got spirit son local love dogs Liberty paradise battle the gray that could be interesting and that's it oh, right I reckon maybe spirit son because it sounds the most like you know fighting son and that's an actual stallion so we'll go with that one spirit son into Bishop Duke all right, we can skip this for free, so I might do that. Or we'll skip this for free, I don't know the difference. What's the difference? 
Oh, we need a horse stall. Okay, okay, okay. We need a horse stall. Oh, my money's gone. So we got a horse stall, so we can skip. And what's happened? Oh, we got a new horse. Looks like I'm thunderstruck, but it's not the same color. It's got one white leg. Oh, and now we get to name it. You know what? I might go High Stranger, because that's Shane Fleetner's horse. And Shane Fleetner's a good trainer. And High Stranger's his best horse. So we're going to go for High Stranger, I reckon, here. Actually, you know what? We've bred a mare, and High Stranger is a male horse. So I reckon, because of the dad, we're going to call it Star Spirit. Archie Alexander... It's a, um, a female, it's a mare, star spirit, if you haven't heard of it, go check out on Racing Australia. But just because it sounds like the dad, I reckon we're going to go star spirit. Star spirit's a decent little horse for Archie Alexander. Boom. And it's commentary friendly, so Matt Hill will be able to call it. Alright, that's finally done. So we've got star spirit. And we can collect all of this now. Alright, Sophie's happy, Sophie's happy, so we'll collect our winnings, we've got some XP and some other stuff. Alright, Francis, good old Francis wants us to do stuff, but so does Trent, training. I think he wants us to train Star Spirit. Oh wait, no, we have to race first. Star Spirit's going to be more highly rated than Bishop Duke, it looks like. So we'll race at Three Oaks, we'll go in the same race we did for Bishop Duke, but I'm telling you what, now that we've trained Bishop Duke, I'm thinking of running it. Either Bishop Duke, who's the 340 favourite, or Star Spirit, who's the 450 favourite. I reckon Bishop Duke, just cause, you know, I think it needs another run after we've trained it. Alright, we're going to draw the gate. Now, I need to stay where the blue line is, because if we get fast sprint refills, it'll last longer. We might do these two races and I think we'll wrap it up for the first episode. Alright, gate six. Gate six at three oaks. Matt Hill's going to call Bishop Duke home. And Bishop Duke will be two for two. Hopefully. We're Go! Alright, we're off. And the we're in the lead. Alright, need to it's get to the fence. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, nearly got bashed through the fence by the horse on the outside. Alright, now I'm going to hold the fence and I'm going to hold my horse up. I need to get back to midfield. Here we go. We're in the blue line. Fast sprint reef. And we're nearly up to full power. Alright, we're up to full power. Now I have to use a bit of petrol. So get a fast sprint reef. Gee, this is like Mornington. It's got a bit of a side bit and then into the home straight where it's not much of a home straight. We're going to get the back of these two horses, they're going to tag us into the race, and we're going to go for it any minute. Alright, 150, we're going to chase down the leader, keep number one horse in our pocket, Bishop Duke goes for the whip, we've gone past, and we're going to go on with the win, hopefully if nothing's judging down our outside. Bishop Duke, I think, I think it has, Bishop Duke wins. It wasn't by as much as last time, but Bishop Duke wins, unconvincingly. But it went over the line well. So, two for two for Bishop Duke. And now all stats can be trained to level three. It's just going to keep rising up. Here we go. Here's our $625. And now, I think we're going to race Star Spirit. And then we'll wrap it up. Oh, we can unlock the next race. That's for Bishop Duke. That's Bishop Duke's next start. And possibly Star Spirits, depending on how it goes here. Bishop Duke, the 290 favourite. Star Spirit, 450 to $4. The punters like it. It's a front pack position preference. So that means we can race on the speed and get a fast sprint refill. This is going well so far. We've got gate number six again. All right, so we'll be on the speed. All right. Go. And we're off to a good start. Fast down. Gates to start. So we're going across the fence. I, can't, I don't even know how to look behind it yet. Alright, we got a fast sprint right So we, I'm going to keep the fence here. I'm going to keep the fence. Keep all the horses out wide and working. We've got a fast sprint right and we're in the lead. 
Uh, this is a start. We go the past the 542 3 Oaks. Star Spirits run. leading by about 3 quarters to the second horse. Star Spirit leading. Matt Down Hill, deadline. not going to let that build forward, forward, even though Apple I really want to. Star Spirit. Gee, I can't see any other horses. Did that have dropped control. off? I'll just Still get the fast sprint refill. 180 to go. We go past the flags. It's full of steam. Star Spirit. Star Spirit goes for home. 50 to go. We've still got plenty under the tank. And Star Spirit wins in a canter. Look at that time. We won by about 7. 55. Actually, Bishop Duke ran quicker, I'm pretty sure. But Star Spirit's won by further. So, I don't know. Alright, Star Spirit, level 2, but you know what, we're going to collect our goals, and then I think we'll wrap it up. Alright, we get some XP, 35, I'm my father's child, I know I am. There we go. Alright, we're going to wrap it up. But thank you so much for watching episode one, potentially, of a series of the Farlap Horse Racing Challenge story. If you want to see me do episode two, then make sure to let me know if you want me to continue this series. But hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.